<clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. This is He Speaks with Kareem Rocker. We are back. Uh, we're back. It's Sunday. You know, normally I do this Monday through Saturday, but I was uh, sick the last couple of days. So I missed two days. So uh, what I'm going to do is just put these together uh, somewhat. Uh, <laughs> And uh, we're going to kick it through all of it. I really need to be watching my time, too, because I have a tendency to run over. It's 802. We need to be going to about 845, something like that. But uh, we talked about adultery, and we're going to finish up today with consequences. The consequences of this thing. Uh, uh, and, and we got a full review of it, but we're going to look at it, uh, like the word said, from every possible angle that we could look at this thing. Uh, <clears throat> and we're probably gonna do uh, New Living Testament to King James today since I actually got my phone charged up. Uh, <clears throat> but y'all ain't gotta listen to what I say. Come on, y'all. Let's listen to what the word say before we do this pray. All right, thank you. Thank you for giving me up this morning. Thank you for giving me through work yesterday. It was a rough day, but I made it. I was able to get work done. I appreciate it. I thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you for giving me up this morning. I'm here, Lord. I, I'm not 100%, but 85 is still good grade. It's a B plus. I thank you, Lord, for a B plus this morning. <laughs> may it be more of you and less of me. May we, may you flow freely. May they receive you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's eat. <clears throat> I'm struggling with my voice this morning. <clears throat> that old cold coming tomorrow, y'all. It's going to be cold. Like, the next couple of days, this weather is trying to... Put us in a box. Uh, give me a, uh, give me Proverbs 6, 32 to 33. Give me New Living Testament and give me Proverbs 6. We're talking about adultery. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't, we didn't talk about it all week, man. We didn't talk about Will and Jada. We didn't talk about men. We didn't talk about women. Uh, and now we, uh, we didn't talk about uh, uh, why is it bad? And now we over here with the consequences of of, of adultery. And we're gonna finish it on up here. Give me Proverbs six thirty two. Proverbs six thirty two. We're gonna do thirty two through thirty three. Six thirty two. Thirty two through thirty three. New Living Testament. Church women, I say, man, they say, but the man who the man who commits adultery is an utter fool. But he destroys himself. He will be wounded and disgraced. His shame will never be erased. Man, never be erased. Hold on. That's New Living Testament. Let's see what King James said. Let's 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 listen to what King James said. I, I I think we're gonna we're gonna do King James and New Living Testament. Give me that uh 632 in the King James real quick. I, I think that, that the King James might have said it. So you feel it a little better here. Uh, 632 to 33, we're in the King James Proverbs. Church women, I say, man, they say, but whoso committed for adultery with a woman lack understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. A wound of dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. Man, that one, this thing a little different when it says you destroy your own soul rather than yourself or being an utter fool. See, so destroy your soul. That's, that's different, ain't it? Oh, man, that's, look. <clears throat> it said right here, whosoever committed adultery with the one, you lack understanding, first of all. You lack understanding. And what we supposed to be doing? Leaning on our, on our own understanding. And when we lean not on our own understanding, we don't have to be like, well, why that's wrong? And why is that wrong? I don't see nothing wrong. See, you're trying to rationalize it and you're trying to build a a a, a stance that will give you what you want. And that's, no. It says, you ain't got to understand that thing. You ain't got to know why <clears throat> God don't want you to do that thing. Just understand that he don't want you to do it. That kind of burning kind of hard, man. He don't want you to do it. That look like that's a fire. Uh, it's, he don't want you to do it. He don't want you to do it. So just lean out on your own understanding. Understand that you don't have to understand. 
You don't have to understand. You don't have to understand. Uh, but if you commit adultery, you definitely don't understand. He said, but that you under that you are doing what? Destroying your own soul. And he said, a wound of dishonor shall he get. And reproach shall not be wiped away. Reproach, meaning your correction. Meaning that it's a wound that never goes away. Why are we talking about this? Because we all need grace. Because all of us, we already established this week, have committed adultery. So we all need grace. Give each other grace out here. God gives us grace because we all need grace because we all committing adultery in some, some form or another. <clears throat> Come on, y'all. We're moving quick today. Give me Leviticus. Give me Leviticus. Let's talk about what they used to do to them when they used to do it. That's how bad it used to be. When they were back in the day, what they used to do back in the day. We talked about the woman the other day. They was about to stone her. They caught her in the act, snatched her out, and brought her to Jesus, smelling like boo dissing. Straight up out the act. They said they snatched her straight up out the act. Man was mid stroke. They said, oh, go see Jesus. <laughs> I'm talking about snatched her out the act. Give me Leviticus 20 and, and 10 and brought her right before Jesus. And then Jesus told them, let thee without the sin cast the first stone. So they all dropped their stones and took their butt home because they realized we all commit adultery. And I, when you think about not giving grace or putting somebody down, looking down on him. I want you to remember that let ye without sin cast the first stone because we all commit adultery. Come on. You mean Leviticus 20 and 10, New Living Testament said, if a man commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, both the man and the woman who have committed adultery must be put to death. Good job this morning. I'm talking about we out here laying people out in the pastor. Y'all, let's take it back to this. He said, if a man commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, boy, you are no good, someone. You just, you, you can I borrow a cup of sugar? <laughs> just coming over there, get to get some sugar? <laughs> over there borrowing a cup of sugar and then hitting the wife, uh, the milkman in the back door, Sancho, however you want to call him, uh, Jody, however you want to call him, out here hitting your neighbor's wife. He said, committing adultery. And, oh, man, they used to kill these people. Put them to death. Uh, just like that. Catch you committing adultery. This is Leviticus, so this, this is like Moses' time, y'all. Put to death. Put to death. Oh, y'all think that was just one time? Let's go to Deuteronomy. Oh, he didn't know what Deuteronomy was. Give me Deuteronomy. 22, 22. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy. Uh, We're we going to go to another part in the Old Testament. I'm telling you, they didn't play with adultery. Adultery was, like I say, a sin to the body. It was a mark that lasts forever. Uh, scarlet letter, what they did, they put the red A on them. Like, this, adultery is a different type of sin. It is the only sin, like they say, it, it lasts forever. It, 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 you can get grace from it. Oh, God will forgive you for your sin. You confess them. And, and, and if you confess them and deep in your heart, know that you were wrong and, and, and deep in your heart, ask for forgiveness. That's what grace is. But, oh boy, for those who like to keep it in the dark and never want to say that you did what you did last night with Tyrone and Tony, I hope you did it at a different time. I hope it wasn't Tyrone and Tony. But I'm just saying, <laughs> but I'm just, whatever you like, whatever you like, if that's what you like, you you better you need to be confessing Tyrone and Tony this morning if that's what you did. I'm just saying, some of y'all out there a little while, you might die too. I don't know what you do. Three or four, I don't know. People wild out you. I've seen and heard things. I'm just saying, whatever you did, you might want to confess that thing and stop lying about it. Amen. Come on. Uh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy was 22 and 2. New Living Testament, church with me, say amen. He said, if a man is discovered committing adultery, both he and the woman must die. In this way, you will purge Israel of such evil. All right, y'all. Look, they, you talking about Israel right now, huh? The people over there at war. Y'all pray for them people. I don't even know the, the Palestinians. Is, uh, people been fighting forever over there. All I can say is pray for them because I'm not picking sides and shooting bottles. I just don't know what to say about it, right? 
I got my own issues. Sometimes you need to just, you know, if we didn't have these phones and news, we wouldn't know so much. Sometimes you need to just stay in your own cipher and, and worry about your own. You, you got your own news to worry about. Amen. Come on. He said, uh, but pray for people. Uh, he said, if a man was discovered again, the woman, they, they killing y'all. Man, you get caught out here. Huh? I ain't here being the F boy. Dead. Thoughts? Dead. Scallywags? Dead. Huh? Side chicks? Dead. Side dudes? Dead. Huh? Everybody dead. Because it's a different type of sin. A sin against the body. A sin against the body. Uh, we, we talked about it the other day. All other sins are outside of the body. All other sins are, are, are not tangible. You can't touch them. They're outside the body. This one, you can touch it. Ooh, can you touch it? Oh, you can touch it. <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference. This is a tangible thing. It stays with you. It don't go nowhere. You need grace, man. You need grace. And he said, in this way, we will purge Israel. So, look, they was trying to rid the land of, 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 of adultery, period. Period. People out here murdering and all this other stuff, gambling. Nah, this adultery got to go because adultery is different. It's different. Uh, come on, y'all. Give me James 2.11. Give me James 2.11. Give me James 2.11. Uh, James 2.11. We're moving, we moving on along, y'all, because uh, we, we're basically putting two together here. But y'all want to know no difference. We just want to be moving this mountain. Amen. James, I really need to flip this Bible. I got it flipped the other way. I really need to flip it. It'd be confusing me. 2, 11. Church with me now. Say amen. For the same God who said, you must not commit adultery, also said, you must not murder. So if you murder someone, but do not commit adultery, you still have broken the law. Y'all, them bars is rough, ain't it? Look, look. I tell y'all, adultery is rough. It's wrapped up with murder, y'all. Look, mur murder and adultery? Murder and adultery is wrapped out on the sin list together. There's God is no respecter of man and sin is sin to him. He don't care if it's a lie or murder, sin. But Adultery and murder are right there together. See, with murder, you murder somebody else. With adultery, you are sinning against your own body, your own soul. You are murdering yourself. It's suicide. It's a suicide. It's a suicide. It's a suicide. That's what you're doing when you're out here committing adultery. You are killing yourself. Not only yourself, but the person you committed with, knowing or unknowingly. Man, it's so far. Woo! I don't understand these these these, uh, these guys who go out there and lie to the women, and then you know they be three months down the line and find out he married and all. You didn't put that poor poor child now. She done committed all types of adultery. She didn't pray to God for somebody else's husband, not knowing she never could get him. Ain't your just to pray for? Belong to somebody else because you didn't lie in a very smooth smooth way. You didn't you didn't. You done worked out of town and all this. Boy, you been, boy, they got all type of lies these days. I'm just saying, you tricked the person. You beguiled her. <laughs> and now she's committing adultery. Same for the guys now. Hold on, women. Don't 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 y'all jump on the... I was about to say, look at the train. Don't y'all jump on the on, on the dog on uh, uh, looking down train. I am better than train because I've been tricked myself. You women will trick some people. Y'all will trick to get some. Oh, bro, I've been tricked many a times. One lied and said she wasn't pregnant. Didn't tell to. <laughs> Just say women will lie too. Men lie, women lie. Everybody lie. And I'm telling you, women will lie to get it too. Women, don't y'all sit there. No, I want you. Y'all is some lying something. Huh? I had to drop somebody off to a man. Told me she ain't have no man. Oh, that's my man right there. He's sitting in the middle of the street waiting for you? Yes. Who you talking about was? My cousin. Your cousin. What? Girl? <laughs> All I can say is, see you later, cuz. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? I've been lied to. I've been beguiled. I've already done the deed. I've already committed the sin. <laughs> yes, I'm saying, so it happens both ways. It, it's not just men that do it, especially these days. Boy, these women out here, oh, they just, boy, the list, 
Boy, these women out here is different. Lord, y'all need some prayer. <laughs> y'all need some prayer out here if you're single. If you're single and over 35, you're over 40, Lord Jesus, please give them grace out here. They need some prayer. Boy, it is rough. I'm telling you right now, if I had the date, I would just wait. <laughs> I'm going to say it one more time for some people in the back. If I had to date, I would just wait. It would have to be God sent, shining, coming down from the gods. But for, I'm telling you right now, I just couldn't be nothing. I, I don't, it would have to be everything in the world for me to even think about. Uh, mm. Whew. I just ain't got no more in me. You've been married three, four, a few times, man. You ain't got all that left in you like that. But for the way it is now, the mentality of women, whew, Lord Jesus, prayer. We're gonna pray for y'all. Come on, let's go uh, to the to the thing. Let's get to get to the thing here. Uh, now, oh, I did have a title for this. I, so we put it two together. The second one was uh, adultery is just gonna kill everything. It's gonna kill. Everything. When I tell you everything, 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 everything. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Go go back to Job. Why does adultery? We said in the beginning that adultery is not just the act. It's not just the act of actual having sex with somebody. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta have sex with them to commit adultery. Oh Lord, I heard some feelings. Oh yeah, uh uh. Women love to talk about, you know, men and porn, but women, your little dime store novels, the little books, the little romance highs with the, with the fantasy on the beach and the long hair, little uh, Fabio looking dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all that right there. Yeah. Yeah, that little bit right there is adultery. Yeah, just little dime store novels. I oh, ain't no naked. Oh, but they are, they are, they make you love in a love, making type of way. Still a fantasy, still adultery. Yeah, the dime store novels are the same as porn. What? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The dime store novels. Uh, you know why? Because of Job 31 and 1, New Living Testament Church, when I say man, he said, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look with lust at a young woman. As far as y'all, Job said you made a covenant. Boy, oh, oh, Lord Jesus. Lord, forgive me. All you, boy, men, we have all done it. We have all done it. If you say you hadn't done it, boy, I'm telling you, you use a lie. You are link and your breath stink. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you need to stop lying. Don't be lusting after these young girls. I see so many dudes. I... There's a couple of dudes on my page. I didn't even know what was going on. Like, all in their stores is this young, thick girl. It's like, okay, she nice, all right. But then I, I had to ask a couple of, uh, you know her? No, I just think she good people. She good people. Bro, she got all her stuff all out, all jammed up in her stuff. She thicker than a snicker already. What is she doing on your story? Then you don't, you know her on Facebook, Instagram? I don't get these older dudes sharing a, First of all, I don't get you sharing another woman. Like, I just, I, you grown, boy. You can look at the picture and enjoy it, but when you share it again, huh? I can see if it's an athlete, something else you admire about her. But most of y'all just admire these women's bodies. Y'all just admire how they look. And you're sharing it. I really don't get that, fellas. Y'all leave in the comments what y'all be doing, but I, I don't get that. Some of y'all got babies that age. What you, what you saying? <laughs> what is you saying? Oh, yes. It's, I'm not saying that there's not attractive, nice-looking women out there that are younger than you or the age of your kids. What I'm saying is when you share it, when you post it, when you put it in your story, and I go in your story, and I see eight, nine, ten, bro, it becomes a lust thing. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? You you all are 50, 45 years old, and there's a 23-year-old in your story more than I, I don't even know what your wife look like. I don't even know what you like. I couldn't put your wife out in the lineup. But this girl in your store so much, I thought that I thought that was maybe your daughter. I, I hope it wasn't your daughter. I don't know what was going on. But all I know is I don't know what your family looked like, but you sure be sharing all these snickers. Let's just say that. <laughs> these thick ones out here. You just I I don't get it, man. Yeah. You can't lust at these little babies. These little girls out here. Is that what you want? 
Mark Lee, what's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all, boy? Y'all need some prayer. <sighs> Come on, y'all. Matthew, I ain't trying to say you wrong. I'm just saying stop it. Cut it out. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing it. Some of y'all need to quit. Find somebody your age. Mm, find somebody your age <laughs> to love staff. Love staff or uh, somebody. Some of y'all got names like, you know, uh, Vernon. Vernon, you got no business. Vernon. Your name is Vernon. You got no business. Got names like Vernon out here. Your name Vernon. You got no business. I'm just saying old names. You need to go holler at Gertrude. Come on. Give me Matthew. <laughs> no lemon testing it. Ah. <laughs> Agnes. Beatrice. Come on. <laughs> Matthew 19 to 6. This is red. This is what Jesus said. Since they are no longer two, but one. Let no one split apart what God has joined together. Hold on, y'all. I don't think y'all... See, he's talking about leaving and cleaving and joining with the wife. See, when you when you leave as a child, you leave your mother and father and cleave to your wife. You come in one spirit. But... God says what he put what 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 God put together let no man bring us under. Like he means once once you're married, ain't no man supposed to come between that. I'ma say it for some people married to somebody and thinking about leaving their wife to marry somebody else. Like Jesus. Ooh, I'm gonna pray for them people right there. I had a situation. Mm, I might not need to say that one. Y'all might can put that one together. Uh <laughs> I ain't gonna say that one. I ain't gonna put them out like that, but Somebody, a friend of mine, wanted to holler at somebody, and they was married at the time. And I tried to warn him and say, "That's not a good, that's not a good trade. You got a good wife there. You don't, you don't want to mess with this person here. This person's not um, wife material. She's not good wife material. Let's just say that she, you know, don't wash, don't clean, not learn it, not a follower, uh, uh, very rude, uh, uh, you know." Uh, you know, just, you know, don't res not a respect of men. And I don't mean like in a guard way, like she don't like men. And she don't like black men in particular. So I try to let them know, like, nah, bro, you don't, you don't want to do that. And uh, I don't know if that thing working out. It definitely ain't working out the way he thought he was going to go. But all I'm saying is you don't leave a relationship, period, for another person. That's dead wrong. That is, I, it's one thing to break up with the person, but when you but to leave a person for another one, bro, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if that has ever worked out. You might think it's working out, but when you leave somebody, that is just like you starting this off all muddy. It ain't. Mm -mm. But when we talking about seriously marriage, it's supposed to be forever finite. Yes, the word says you can give a piece of paper, divorce her. And then you good. Oh, it definitely says you could divorce for unfaithful uh, wives, unfaithful husband. Unfaithful is literally the the only thing that the Bible, the word says that hey, you can you you, you can say this thing is done. It's a wrap because when you have sex with another person, you have just married that person. That's the way the word see it. So once you marry somebody else, you can kill this man. You can't be married. You can't serve two masters. <laughs> You can't have two husbands. You can't have two dudes, women. Dudes, you can't have two wives. Oh, yeah, they married many wives back then, but they was wives and they knew about it. The, the, the guys out here, oh, man, they always been like this. You're a monogamy as a whole. Oh, that's, that's, that's not our culture, man. We always had a bunch of wives, but they knew about it. They knew about it. They sister wives in this thing. If you ain't got sister wives, you sister lying. Huh? You ain't got sister wives, you got some sister lies. <laughs> Period. Period. Because I guarantee you, you got all these women and they do not know about each other. I guarantee you. Because some people, they do. You know, more power to you. If y'all like it, I love it. Hey, if that's what y'all want to do. You know, it's if it's actually talked about in the marriage and it's all open, that is their business, people. That's their business, straight up. If they married and that's what they do, if they do threesomes, if they do uh, uh, cuck holes and all that old other mess, if they do whatever they do, whatever they do and they married, if they do it, y'all, that's their business, really. You can look down on them, but if they both know, 
you the one bothering and grown folk business. Stay out of their business. Now, if they don't know, now, now we're talking adultery. Now we're talking sin against the body. Now we're talking a whole different ballgame. But I, I, I remind y'all, don't be judging people's marriage. What they do in their marriage is their business. The bed, they say the, the marriage bed is undefiled, meaning what they say goes. If they both know and they both say it, y'all need to get out of their business. And so what? Uh, he, he let Johnny hit. So what? She didn't slip with them, whatever. They, if they doing it together and they know, hey, they like it, I love it. Get out of their business. Come on. Give me Matthew... Uh, 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 uh. Matter of fact, let's go back right above this. Give me 19.5. Hold on. I don't, I don't want you to miss this. Look. Give me 19.5. New Living Test. Church women that say, man, he said, this explains why a man leaves his father and mother and joins to his wife, and the two are united in one. I, I didn't want you to miss that part. Like I say, you leave your mom. You come from your dad and mama. You, we agree, you know, out of your daddy's seed, out of your mama's seed, together, they made you. So you are definitely the, their child, their flesh, their DNA. You are your mama and daddy. Boom. That's what you came from. I don't care who you are. Everybody came from a mama and daddy. Guess what happens when you get out in these streets? When you have sex, unprotected sex, I was not a it's a very protected man. But I'm just saying that when you have unprotected sex out here, you are clinging, you are cleaving, you are twining your soul. See, you can't even have two mamas and daddies because you can't have two masters. What we don't realize is just having sex with two different people is not supposed to be. You know why you feel so crazy? You got two men inside of you. You know why you feel so crazy? You got about seven women inside of you. Your whole rotation is crazy. And you think you're going to be sane. You got a rotation of women. Half of them, you won't even hold their hand in the daylight because you know they crazy or you know they not cute. You know she a big girl, but she do some things, don't you? Uh-huh. But you'll get you'll hit her up after two in the morning, huh? But what I'm telling you is you think you are escaping when those people are inside of your butt. You crazy because you messing with crazy. You can't sleep with crazy and think you're going to be sane. You can't sleep with nasty and think you're going to be godly. You can't sleep with don't give up if and think you're going to be, you know, Karen. She a little bit get off on you. My daddy told me when I was young, this might hurt somebody's feelings. He said, grab that stick. He said, now start making a hole. He said, now pull the stick up. He said, ain't there some dirt on that stick? I said, yeah. He said, now get that dirt off the stick. And I tried to get the dirt off of it, but if that Alabama clay was still kind of stuck, a little bit stuck. He said, see, you can't never get that dirt off that stick. He said, the same thing with a woman. You, ain't gonna, you sleep with it, you'll never get off it. You're always going to have a little piece of it with you, no matter how much you wash it off. It's good Jesus. He said, now put that stick back in the hole. And I kept... <laughs> Then he told me to take the stick out and say, is that hole getting bigger or smaller? I said, bigger. He said the same thing. Well, my dad was crazy. <laughs> but my point was, <laughs> you won't get the people off of you. You will not. You will not. They, they go with you. Every, I, every elf boy you ever slept with is still with you in your marriage. I hate to tell you. Every little thot. And that, if you had unprotected sex, unprotected, I said. Regular protected sex is not the same. You're not as twining in flesh as much. Now it's more of a physical thing, and you're keeping the flesh from actually touching. If you remember the story in the Bible where the brother spilled his semen on the ground, he wouldn't get the girl pregnant. See, that kept him from becoming one flesh with her. Uh, the actual the spilling of semen inside of you women, I don't mean to get vulgar, but what I'm saying is that's what makes you twine the flesh. When you let them shoot up the club. I'm going to say it for some people in back who think it don't mean that when you let them shoot up the club, that's when you twine your flesh with them. You can have protected sex all you want, but as soon as you start letting them shoot up the club, guess what? Y'all's married now. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Be mad at me or be mad at the world, whichever you want to do. Give me Job 31 and 12. Uh, let's finish this thing up. We're getting close here, y'all. We're getting close here. Where we at? Uh huh. Give me Job 31 and 12. I want y'all to realize that, man, adultery is some serious stuff. It's serious. I. I 
after doing my research, I was like, wow, man, adults, you love drugs. Look, I, I hit my knees so many times off. You hear me? I, ooh, I didn't even know back in the day. I was just a little adult and a little fool. Just didn't have no sense of the, the, the matter. Just, it didn't even dawn on me that was wrong. It didn't even dawn on me. What? Well, that's wrong. But they gave it to me. It's just, it, it's just like, no, it's, well, how is that wrong? Like, yes, it's wrong. Sin against the body. But a lot of us ignorant out here, man. A lot of us ignorant. Give me Job 31 12. Church with me now. Say amen. What, is that 31 and 12? Jesus. Uh, give me give me 11 through 12. I don't want you to miss this one. Ooh, Jesus. Church with me now. Say amen. Say, for lust is a sinful sin. A shameful sin. I'm sorry. <laughs> a shameful sin. A crime that should be punished. It is a fire that burns all the way to hell. It will wipe out everything I own. Damn, them bars is, oh, they rough, ain't it? He said, hey, uh, we're talking about adultery, lustful sin. Mm, lustful sin. If we go right above that, he said, in my heart, I seduced a woman. I had lusted for my neighbor's wife. You know, let my wife serve another man. Hold on, wait, 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 man, hold on. Let's go back to the, hold on, let's just read that whole together. I don't want y'all to miss me. Like, I know the story, y'all might not know the story. So this is Job. Y'all remember when Job was all going through his thing and he got to where his wife started talking a little crazy. And, and, and he said, he was trying to figure out what he had done to deserve what had happened. When he, he didn't know the whole garden devil trick thing, he just trying to figure out what have I done. So he started searching his heart Remember last week we had the heart transplant? He searched his heart and found out that in my heart I had seduced a woman and lusted after my neighbor's wife. He said, I ain't never said nothing to her. But in my heart, I seduced her and lusted her. How many of y'all have fantasized about having sex with somebody and, and then you just caught yourself in the middle of the fantasy and didn't even realize? Stop lying. You're lying. Come on. And he said, and then let my wife serve another man. Boy, certain. And like I said, let my wife serve another man. Now, did he let his wife serve another man because he knew he had committed adultery in his heart? Probably. Trying to even it out, felt bad. So, well, you go ahead. Yeah. Let another man sleep with her. Like I said, he realized even in letting him do that, and like I say, even if you let them do that, you have now brought another person in your marriage. All y'all married now. All y'all married. Y'all entwined. You just slept with him. Yes, when you let another man sleep with your wife and you sleep with her, you are sleeping with him. Y'all all married. It ain't supposed to be man and man in marriage. It ain't supposed to be woman and woman in marriage. Hey, gay people get mad at me, but until I find it in the world, y'all just going to be mad at the word. I'm just saying it ain't supposed to be. I can't find it nowhere in the world. Hey, if that's what y'all like to do, I love y'all to death. But I'm telling you right now, I, man and man and woman and woman, marriage, nah, that ain't what God made. God made marriage. Man don't get to define it. Y'all can have your union. You can have your 51 rights. So I do believe you're supposed to have that one. But I'm saying, actually, marriage, probably should call that thing something else. It's just not. Marriage was made by God. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be playing with that thing like that. And he said, and then it burns all the way to hell. This is probably that should be punished. But it should burn all the way to hell. I ain't talking about being gay. I'm talking about adultery. Yeah, adultery is worse than being gay. Oh, I'm going to say it one more time. Some people was looking down on gay people just then. I'm going to say adultery was worse than being gay. Huh? I believe it's a lot of gay people in heaven. What I do not believe is is unconfessed adultery people in heaven. Unconfessed adultery, I, it just said right here, it's a fire that burns all the way to hell. You better confess that thing. You better tell God. You ain't got to tell the person you cheated on or with. You were the person you cheated with. No, you was cheating. Maybe they don't. You might need to tell them too. Some of y'all wrong. But what I'm saying is confess it to God so you ain't got to confess it when you get up there. I keep saying, by the time you get up there, it's too late. It's too late. And it said it will wipe out everything you own. Eventually, this will wipe out everything you own. Have you ever seen, uh, uh, y'all remember the, the Celtics coach? Gave it all up for a Becky, didn't he? What, ain't that what y'all said? He gave it all up for a Becky, didn't he? Got the best team in the world, make a seven, gave it all up for the Becky. Uh, 
Come on, let's go again. Uh, uh, TJ and what's the name on, on Good Morning America? Jim, Jimmy made three. They gave it all up. Gee, boy, we knew TJ was hitting that thing. Boy, you should have seen them on TV. Boy, if you ain't never seen TJ and that girl on TV, and y'all didn't know they were sleeping together, y'all blind. Because TJ was hitting that thing. They they was always on site. They be all in the mountain skiing together, showing up. Look, look, I can smell the boot dissing from here. TJ, y'all just rolled out the bed. Then, you know, GMA3 just adultrified. Just good morning, America. We are adultery. <laughs> just, I tell, you give it all up, you lose it all, y'all. You lose it all. It all fall when that adultery hit. Come on, y'all. It take it all out. Let's finish this thing, man. Uh, Proverbs, give me the last one, y'all. Give me Proverbs 9.16. Let's put it in. TJ, man, pro TJ. I, I, and I like TJ. They ain't going to find another They ain't gonna find another brother smooth as that on early in the morning. They be trying to get a replacement. Little, they had good chemistry. I'm just going to say that. They had some good chemistry. The chemistry was real. <laughs> it was real out there. Uh, but... It was definitely, it, you could definitely tell they was they were sleeping together. That adultery was not even hitting. You can't hide, boy, people who try to hide people. You can't hide a real grown person, especially me. I see spirit. I walk in the room, look, do them two have sex before? No, why do you say them two people didn't have sex? It's, it's a look. It's something. It's the way you're, you're, you're vibe. You vibe with the way you look or don't look at somebody you're having sex with. Well, you ever seen two people who having sex and then they, they ain't supposed to tell them. They try to take a picture. They be so awkward. They, they don't touch it. Weirdly just posing for the picture. Yeah, they having sex because they don't know how to be. You can't hide that thing from grown people who see spirit. I'm just, I, I said that for somebody who taking a picture with somebody they having sex with and there's not all out in the open. I'm telling you, we can see. Come on, Proverbs 9 and 17. We can see. I can definitely see. I don't know about we, but I can see. We, you're not hiding it. <laughs> you're not hiding it. I hate to tell you, baby. You're not hiding it. We see it. We, we, we definitely see it. We see it. It's okay. It's okay. We still love you. Uh, 917. Let's finish this word up. Search with me. Hold on. Oh, King James Version. Let's do both of them. King James Version. 917. He says, stolen waters are sweet. And bread eaten in a secret is pleasant. <whistles> Give me 18. Mm. But he knoweth not that the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of hell. Got, oop, oop, let, give me New Living Testament. Boy, you might have missed that one. Let's get it one more time. Give me that one all the way to the end. Give me 17 and 18. He said, New Living Testament, Proverbs 17, 9 and 17 and 18. Stolen waters is refreshing. Food eaten in secret tastes best. But little do they know that the dead are there. Our guests are in the depths of the grave. Food eaten in secret. Boy, some of y'all men out here eating in secret. <laughs> I'm gonna say it for some people in the back to say, I ain't touching with my with my with my persons. I said uh eating is cheating. And some of y'all is eating in secret. <laughs> eating is cheating, women. Mm-hmm. Lesbians too. Eating is cheating. I'm just saying, uh, he said food eating in secret <laughs> tastes best. I bet it tastes best. Taste real good, don't it? Taste real good, don't it? Uh-huh. But guess what? Little do you know, you eating, you eating dead, you eating dead. The Bible said don't eat nothing that's dead. You is eating dead stuff. You out here eating dead stuff. <laughs> and the guests, guess where you at? Y'all on a date in hell. Out right here eating adultery. Uh-huh. Women. Don't, uh, hold on, excuse me. I, I know you didn't just try to get high and mighty. Talking about, ooh, that nasty. Some of y'all nasty too. What that mouth do? I'm telling you, stop eating in the depths of hell. Around here eating adultery. You got adultery all around your mouth right now. Just wipe your mouth. Look what that one said. What, what was it? Proverbs that said a woman, get up and wipe her mouth. Yeah, yeah she got adultery all around your mouth. Just uh, quit it. Quit it out here. Quit it. It's bad, y'all. It's bad. Find somebody and just get your own and stick to your own. I don't understand it. Maybe I'm different. Uh, man, you don't get bored and you get tired of the same old. What the heck is the same old? You better learn a new position or something. You look. You talking about you don't get tired of the same old? Like you changing? You ain't doing it around here getting fatter. And talking about the same old, like like you got detachable, uh, 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 <laughs> like you got detachable products down here. You can just pop on a new one. You ain't a ballroom, Mister Potato Man. You can't snap on a new one. You got the same old too. 
She got to deal with your same old too. Talking about you tired of her. She tired of you. <laughs> huh? Y'all probably tired together. Y'all need to work out. Get some energy. Huh? Make it new. Make it new, people. Before you send yourself to hell, make it new. I advise you to make it new before you send yourself to hell. Because if you're married and you're bored and you're talking about it's getting old and I'm tired of it and I just won't and you're reading the little novels and you're fantasizing about uh, this and he watching porn, I'm telling you both of y'all committing adultery, you butts need to quit. You need to quit. Y'all need to find some new fire. Like this candle burn over here a little too. <laughs> make it burn extra. Uh, find some oil. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, prop your wick up. Take that how you want uh, However you got to do, y'all need to find some new ways to make it happen. Because this adultery out here, these streets out here, man, ain't for nobody. And for everybody that's single, well, Lord Jesus, let's just pray for y'all. Come on, bow your heads. Come on. Lord, bless us. Thank you for blessing us with the word today. Bless all these single people out here in these streets who got to deal with this. May they know that they don't have to do all this, man. It's other ways. Yes, it is hard out here. Yes, and people got needs. I get it. It's a physical need. We're addicted to it. We're already used to it. We've been strung out on sex since we were teenagers. Bless us, Lord. Bless us so we know. So we know we sin it against our body. Therefore, we all need grace. So we need not look down on anybody else. But we also need to find our person. Oh, man, ain't nothing better than finding your person. If that's what you like, Find your person. Do it with the person you love. You're so much better when it's ordained by God, when the sex is not a sin. Lord Jesus, thank you. May all these people find out the blessing of unsinful sex. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Hey, y'all. I hope y'all get to the mountaintop. The mountaintop is unsinful sex, man. That good stuff. That mm, with your person. I'm talking about men. I'm just... It's not bored. The Bible said her bosom will invigorate you to an old age. If you bored, that probably ain't your person. Because I'm telling you now, ain't no such thing as bored. I got to make my eyes go somewhere. I mess around and look too long and be like, oh, girl, come on. What you gonna, what, 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 hold on. We got some time. We got some, I better not look too long. It'll be all the way down here. Excuse me. We need 15 minutes. We'll be back in a little bit. Huh. Pause for these. After these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> I, that's what it's supposed to do. If it don't do that to you, you need to quit. You need to quit, man, and you need to wait. You need to wait because that ain't your person. But I pray you get your person. I pray you get your person because once you get it, boy, hey, it's a beautiful thing. Amen. Amen, y'all. Hey, y'all, that's six days of adultery. I know I skipped two days and got sick, but we came back and we hit it. Amen. Amen. Uh, we ain't gonna let nobody stop the word, including little bad little sinus infections or whatever that world that was. <clears throat> but we beat it. Hey, y'all, I appreciate everybody, man. Who in the group today, man? Uh, we got Paul, man. He's a diehard Mike, uh, Preston, Jerry. Hey, what up, Jerry, man? Hey, man, I appreciate everybody watching this morning. Hey, hey, man, I know it's early Sunday morning. We know I'm going to do these on Sundays, but I had to make it up for them, them sick days. So I appreciate everybody watching. Hey, man, till next time, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night.